government agencies have now reacted on cease and desist orders that have been issued to them by the Laguna Lake Development Authority. This is for the alleged releasing of wastewater into Manila Bay. Let's find out the response from Shaila Francisco. She's reporting live from Manila where a DENR inspection is ongoing. Good morning, Shaila. Among those issued cease and desist orders were three government agencies. So how did they respond to these allegations? Charles, the Cultural Center of the Philippines told the DNR and the Laguna Lake Development Authority that they're already upgrading their sewage treatment plant as a response. The Philippine Navy, meanwhile, in a statement, says that they are working on building a temporary septic tank to catch all waste water in the compound while they are still waiting for the construction of their sewer treatment plant. Now, as for the DPWH, who was, by the way, with the DNR and the LDA during the inspection, has opposed the cease and desist order. They said they are only managing the drainage pipes that releases storm water or rain water into the bay. And some they have illegally tapped uh, their drainage pipe to release this wastewater. While they haven't uh, answered directly whether they have their own sewage treatment plants, they insist that they are not releasing any wastewater, especially since they are part of the Supreme Court uh, order that is tasked to clean up Manila Bay. Charles? Shaila, I understand that the DENR is inspecting Manila Bay today. Is there a specific reason why there's an inspection today? And uh, what have they found so far? Charles, they inspected this part of Manila Bay to check if the outfalls that they have sealed uh, are not releasing any more wastewater. They also conducted water sampling and that they are planning the next steps after sealing all these outfalls. Charles? Shaila, could you tell us the DNR, DENR's response to these reactions uh, from these accused agencies? Charles, specifically for DPWH, they acknowledge their concerns. They uh, clarified that they have only issued uh, the CDO to DPWH because they are the one managing the pipe that are releasing or that is releasing wastewater into the bay. Uh, they acknowledge that uh, the DPWH may not be the culprit and there have may been some establishments illegally tapping their drainage pipe. So they are working now with the DPWH to find out who these establishments are. Charles? Shaila, one last question before I let you go. Could you tell us the status of these inspections of certain establishments by the authorities? Charles, earlier the Lagoon Lake Development Authority says that they've already inspected 85% of establishments here in Manila and Pasay City. The DNR and the LDA targets to finish the inspection before the rainy season so they could open some of the outfalls that are releasing waste, uh, drainage wa water rather, to avoid flooding when the rainy season comes. Charles? Thanks for those updates, Shaila. That was Shaila Francisco reporting live from Manila.